It's been an interesting weekend, and almost a clean sweep for the home nations. Uh, Scotland just falling short against Argentina. Uh, last minute drop goal just sailing wide. Um, they probably should have won that game. We spent another weekend in Dunedin. Uh, we went to the England-Romania game. And uh, what was interesting this week is just seeing the number of New Zealanders dressed as Romanians. It's between the Baltic and the Black Sea, and it's got 22 million people. Yes. Flag is blue, yellow and red. Yes! Yeah. Did you look it up on Wikipedia? No! Yes. 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 Ireland and Wales both came through their fixtures, and it was a better performance from England. So what do you think of the England performance today? Better than last week, better than the week before, thank God. At the moment it's very much a case of we've got one option in the backs. We pass it down the line, if we don't score, we give away a penalty. So three wins out of four for the home nations, and there was much to celebrate. So the England team have now flown up to Auckland uh, for that massive game against uh, Scotland this weekend. We are going to miss the game, unfortunately, because um, we are spending two weeks driving the camper van up through the South Island and then all the way through the North Island, uh, up to Auckland, ready for the quarterfinals. People back home will be getting up early to watch it. We'll be in a place called Wanaka, where we're expecting a good atmosphere. Scotland will probably be more of a test for us, and I think we'll probably, we will edge it, but not in a big way. England, Scotland, an easy England win. Romania nearly beat Scotland, but England punished Next question, points. How far can England go in this World Cup? What finals you got to <laughs> We're quite relaxed, because obviously we're going to beat England. On form, we should, we should beat Scotland, but, but Scotland always find an extra gear, don't they? They always up it against England. We usually pick up our game for the English, um, and hopefully we can do the same. Yeah, I mean, it's upsetting for the English. After Ireland's heroics against Australia, they've got a tough one against Italy, but we're expecting them to come through that one. Wales against Fiji, you'd have said that was a very difficult fixture before the tournament began. But uh, they've been playing well, so we're expecting them to win that one. And then it's England v Scotland. Can't wait. <laughs>